Hi everyone, this is the sixth tutorial of our series where we are going to build this landing page for a coffee shop website. So, in today's video, we are going to add a hover effect over, over this join now button, and uh, we will also create the same card like this in the below. But uh, the, uh, the another card will have uh, image on the right side, and uh, we will do add some paddings and uh, do some minor improvement in our landing page so let's start so here is our code i think there is some error so open this again make this small and uh, So this is uh, this is the center container which you can see here. So we are going to uh, add another center container, but uh, with different uh, images, and uh, the image will goes here, and this one will come here. So copy this, and uh, let's add a comment here, like. Uh, adding comments is very necessary so that uh, you know when you read your your code after one or two months so you should know what you have done here so add the comment like send uh, container to and uh, here paste this now copy this text container stuff and uh, paste this here okay now we need to change some text also so if i come here and uh, so the in the h1 we will add this let us delight you so in the place of free coffee we will add this text and uh, we will use this text for here uh, like h5 okay now save this and uh, let's see how it's working refresh our coffee shop website and as you can see position of the image has been changed and uh, position of the test has come to here now we need to add some padding sorry not padding uh, a hover effect on this and uh, some padding in between of these so also we need to remove this border so come here and in the main dot css let's see where is the border so find border and i think this is the button so we don't need to remove the button we need to remove the border okay so this is the border so remove this Okay, save this. Okay, so this has border has been removed. Now we need to change the images also. So if you see, we have different image here. So let's grab that different image in from the resource folder and. Uh, here is the image so copy this image and open sublime open containing folder and in the assets images paste here this image control v okay now rename this image so that we can type it properly so container to image so there is container to dot jpg now go to our index and here type container to dot jpg now refresh our page so refresh okay the image has been changed 
and uh, the text is also looking ugly so we have to also change this and uh, why this is uh, looking like this we have to add padding in both of both side of this text so let's uh, let's firstly make a hover effect for join now button so come to our code base and uh, in action button copy this and type air over now when somebody hover over this button what to do so i think width will be or actually we will not change the width let's change the background color so background color will be let's say white and border will be so let's say four pixel solid let's say like what to choose from here so that will be uh, brown okay save this and uh, close this developer tool and refresh this okay now this is not uh, looking beautiful so so let's change something also so we need to change the width also so copy width and uh, width will be basically let's say 30 percent and uh, cursor will be pointer and uh, we also need to increase the padding or let's say uh, padding don't increase the padding just increase the font size so font size will be 178 percent and save this now open chrome refresh this okay now we also need transition here so transition will be transition and it will be all point nine second ease refresh this okay as you can see now we have transition but uh, uh, here time is very high so we have to make this uh, point 0.4 so point 0.4 millisecond okay now it's po uh, point 0.4 and it's perfect all right so we have okay this is as you can see the same effect has been applied to both of these all right i think this is this is very high time so make it to 0.2 second and uh, now what we can do let's see actually i don't think there is any need to add padding in between of these two photos sorry two banners as you can see here we don't we also don't have any padding in between of these so so we have padding on this column but we don't have any padding here so i don't think uh, there is a need to do this okay so we have to change the color also so let's make change the color of this tag also so where is this tag so this is h5 where the color is brown brown refresh this okay this this is very bad color 
so inspect this element and uh, now let's see what color we can choose so I think maroon color is perfect so let's color to be maroon maroon and uh, what's remaining okay we need to change this color also so make this brown so come here and in the action button let's change the color also where is this property of color let's add the property of color also so color will be brown and uh, refresh this okay let's change the border to white white and uh, here it will be white smoke let's a uh, ghost white and save this refresh this okay so okay, it's not it's very bad so let's see what we have here so we don't have any background color here and for background color we are using this color so let's say background color will be Brown not saddle brown but brown and uh, here it will be brown. Let's try fire brick and refresh this. Okay, so you can change according to your need and uh, why, what is this i think i have to change the color uh, cursor color also sorry font color also so font color will be what font color color white okay perfect now it's looking perfect now what we can do we also need to add this effect over this learn more session learn more section so come here and uh, where is this i button okay this is so copy this and uh, paste this here and in, in the semi in this semicolon or whatever it is let's uh, change the background color and that will be complete white color will be let's say black and uh, we also need we also need to add change the width so width will be like 22 percent something so this will be 22 percent and uh, there will be a transition also so transition all point three second is okay refresh this and uh, yeah okay perfect 
now add cursor po po uh, sorry pointer to cursor cursor pointer now this is this is perfect okay so we have also changed this we have also changed this we have also changed this all right so we have done a lot of uh, improvement in our website and uh, now what's next so in next video we will be doing this uh, column so here we have two columns and uh, we are going to cover this in the next video and after that we will cover this footer section so thank you guys for watching this video and see you in the next part of this video